All right, today is not my day. This is the third time I'm trying to do this. I have had a lot of really bad luck with computers lately. I got hacked and it has completely slowed me down. Um, I have to get a new phone. And perhaps once I get a new phone, I'll be able to smooth things out a bit. Right now I'm using my iPad to record and I don't really know where to look. So I'm trying to look at you versus myself. Because I think if I'm looking at myself, I'm looking too far down. So I'm still learning what to do, not what not to do. And one of the things I learned not to do is to forget to write the inmate, inmate's name, inmate's number. I forgot to write the inmate's number. So this letter got rejected because I forgot his number. So all I have to do with this one is write his number on it and send it back out again. But I swear this takes so damn long. I do have another letter from Ricky. And this is actually going to be the third damn time I've read, read it. Because I'm struggling with my stupid iPad. I'm learning how to be savvy. And this is a learning process. If you hang out with me, we'll go through together. So, I actually do know what this says now because I've read it twice. You know, and as I've explained before, the guards, you send somebody a letter, the guards read the letter, the guards then pass the letter on to the inmate. Then the inmate writes their letter and then they send it back. For some reason, Ricky and Leon have been pretty damn snappy. Like, I don't know why I can get letters to them really fast because I've written to inmates in the same prison and their letters have come back saying that they can't read them, like they're rejected. And I don't get why, because they don't explain any of that. But anyway, I'm gonna open this again and read this again and complain again. And hopefully this is the last bloody time. And I actually can read his, his writing better now because I've read it twice before. All right, so Marianne, this was written on November 10th and I've actually also been out of town, so I'm slow on doing things. Greetings and may God's wonderful blessings be yours for this, these, these, for this are my dreams. Mm. For this is. Hopefully, this short letter finds you in the best of health and in good, godly spirits. And the rest of this letter really irritates me because he's invoking God. And then this the rest of this letter doesn't make sense. And maybe a smile on your face, blah, 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 for my benefit. Okay, I have a question. Since no one has ever heard my side of what happened on that day, not even my family, which sounds preposterous because you gave a statement to the police and this happened in the 90s. Why wouldn't your family have heard about this? Why would you wait till some silly random girl writes you a letter to suddenly have a story that nobody's heard? Like, really? Really? You waited for this? You waited for me to write you a letter? You didn't bother contacting anybody outside of me? Ugh. Are you going to help me to the end? Or are you going to run when it gets too hot and let me down all by myself? Like that's manipulative and that's annoying because I don't owe him anything. What does he expect me to do? And why would I, why would he even care if I let him down? I'm nobody, I'm nobody to him. He doesn't know me from a hole in the wall. So what would it matter if I let him down? I'm actually getting angry at this point. And just underlining, it's just manipulative. This whole thing is probably a bad idea. Um, when it gets too hot for Pete's sake. Because you know you're fixing to open a can of something or other worms, it looks like 
C-U-R-R-Y-S-T, which isn't a word. Current, current, curious, curious, it's, I don't know, it's not a word. This I bring to your attention because I have been offered up to $30,000 for my rights to make a movie. And I didn't take it. I didn't take it because, question mark, I don't know. You didn't say, I don't know, it just says the question mark. But inmates can't make money off their stories when they're in jail. A lot of times their family members can't either. So him not being, him not taking it doesn't mean a damn thing. I have a, ha, a da, 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 da. I have had other different of offers since, but I have not taken them. That is to include a documentary on my case. But you say you believe in redemption. Oh God, all my words are going to come back to haunt me, aren't they? Tell me what you will do for me. Nothing. Since this, since this case of mine is a high profile, high publicity on an election year in the state of New Mexico. May I leave you with this? I never had a fair trial. Psalm 3745, always just me, Ricky Abietta. I don't know if this is a second or just because he wrote me a second letter, but oh, for Pete's sake, really? Brutus, stop. What am I supposed to do for him? What does he expect me to do for him? You know, like, there are advocate groups out there. If you've had, you know, if you truly have a peculiar, curious, if you truly have a curious situation, there are advocate groups out there who will go to bat for you. So why would he need me, oh, damn it, after, sorry. Ugh. You're gonna hear dogs. Why would he need me? A no one. To help him. What can I do? And why would he put any stock in me abandoning him? Like, really? Realistically, why? Why would you do that? I asked you what happened. I asked you who you were then. I asked you who you are now. I asked you, did you believe in God then? Do you believe in God now? What would you have done differently? Who did you think you would be? Those are the questions I asked. I didn't say, did you get a fair trial? And if you're really like, if you're gonna say you didn't get a fair trial, what's your proof? You know, um, Leon said the same thing to me. I did write back to him and say, you know, like work with me, what's your proof? My goal is not to become everybody's prison advocate and try to free everybody from the hell they have created for themselves on whatever level. Makes me itch. Um, and it really irritates me. You give me all these God blessings, but then what can you do for me? What can you do for me? Nothing. I can't do anything for you. I just asked you to speak on your own behalf. I didn't say I was ever going to do anything for you other than report what you say. And if you can actually maybe provide some compelling information, mm, that's what I gotta say. What do you have to say? What's compelling? What proof do you have? Why haven't you had a fair trial? Who have you contacted? Have you done anything on your own behalf? Like this has been since the 90s. How many, you've had 30 years to do something. You certainly haven't been waiting around for some random chick to send you a stupid letter to say, what's up? So what have you been doing in the past 30 years? Ugh. I think I actually have been hoping somebody would, would be like, yeah, this is what I did. And I'm a piece of shit for it. Or this is what I did and I don't care. This is what I did and I'm sorry. Like, granted, I've literally only had contact with two people, so maybe I'm prematurely frustrated. Um, 
but maybe this is literally everything that I'm going to run into. There are dogs barking. There are people I really want to talk to. Ricky talks about being high profile. Come on. I told you this is always going to happen. There's always going to be a dog barking. Someday I'll move and this won't happen. Um, if you know who Ricky is, it's high profile. Or maybe if you were like on the FBI most, I don't think you know if he's on the FBI most wanted. Like he turned himself in the next day. So he's high profile if you're in this realm. But I hadn't heard of him until I started just searching through things. And incidentally, I did hear somebody mention him who I watched. And I was like, oh, that's kind of crazy because nobody else talks about him. So. If anybody has any ideas of questions they think I should ask, let me know. I am going to review what I said here because I actually think I brought up a lot of good points, damn it. And I, don't, I really don't know what I expected. I kind of feel gross and dirty talking. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to learn how to get all the glitches out of my videos and make pretty videos. I see some people out there making these fabulous videos. And at the same time, not that I don't want to do fabulous videos, but I don't want a lot of production quality. Like, I just want to be a person talking. That doesn't mean I'll always stay that way. Because that might just not be enough. In any case, um, thanks for watching. If you want to like and subscribe. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't generally say that. And I don't introduce myself. I don't like doing any of that stuff. Because you can do what you want to do. So, I'm going to say peace out. Good luck. If you've got any questions, write them down and I'll see what I can do. All right. Peace out and thank you.